Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I came across some free s repeater software called Open Repeater. Now, maybe perhaps it's kind of meant for ham. There is a Echo Link module that you can activate, but it's still pretty neat software. Um, and it does use a Raspberry Pi. I have it wired up to the interface board. And also, too, I'll mention, if, if, if you're interested in getting an interface board uh, so that you can use this software with your Redivis RT97S or the Midland uh, MXR10 repeater, uh, just shoot me an email. I'll put my email link down below. Maybe I'll make up some interface boards for this particular software. Now, the only thing, this, this software does have a lot of plugins. The only thing it does not have a plugin for is Zello, uh, unfortunately. But it does have a plugin for date and time. There's a plugin for weather. Um, there's a few other plugins. I haven't played with it a lot. I just kind of got it going here. Um, I do have it. It does have a built-in uh, capabilities of converting your call sign to Morse code, which is kind of neat. See, there it is. So, and also, I want to show you something here, too, that it can also, it does have it so that it can be, and I apologize, this ain't my normal way of doing a video, but this is, if you hit the, the PTT button and the star, it will. Open repeater online. Whiskey, Romeo, Quebec, Foxtrot, 8, 7, 8. The time is 2.57 p.m. Press zero, number sign for help. So hopefully you heard that. Sounds really good. I got it working really good with the Redivis uh, repeater, as you just heard. Um, but what I like about it, it does not use a USB or does not use a DB9. You can hook it up using the header pins uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Now, if I was to design a board for it, I'd make a simple one plug in you plug it in and you plug it into the repeater and you do a be a plug and play uh, you know a couple clicks and the software and you're done um, now I cannot test echo link because unfortunately echo link makes it so that I can't even get to the settings without entering a call sign um, I kind of wish they wouldn't do that but that's how they do it because I want to look at the settings to see what settings are there uh, but if I have this working on what you just heard, I, I'm pretty sure I can get it to work on Echo Link. Um, but again, I don't have that. I cannot confirm that. But I, do, but I do have it working. As you heard, hopefully you heard that. It's sounding really good using this Redivis repeater. Um, really good sound coming off it. Now, uh, but like I said, I, I do like that without using a USB. Uh, DB9 adapter, so that, that's that's kind of a nice little feature. Now, there's no other settings in there so that you can use a USB DB9. Uh, there is a there's different. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. We'll go to the computer, but there's different um, tabs that you can select. But I did look under the uh, interface uh, uh, tab, and you can only use the, the what they're actually called is the G. GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. You can select which ones and, and then the way you go. Um, like I said though, I can make a board that you plug and play real simple couple clicks and the way you go. And if that's something you might be interested in, uh, you know, I'll post my email address down below. Let me pause this and let's go to the computer. I'll quickly show you the, the graphic interface. Now, I apologize here. This is the only way I can really do this. Um, but there is here is the module plugin page, and it's pretty simple to activate the modules. You just click on it. Um, I'm waiting for it to go ahead and do this. Now, of course, now I'm making a video. There it is. Um, but right here, you can see the ones. There's here's the weather one. I haven't played with it much. Here's voicemail. Uh, there's Echo Link. So a lot of cool little modules that you can do. Let me put you on pause and we'll go back to the table here. 
I'll be uh, right back. Okay, now we're back. Um, a lot of neat things you can do here with this um, with this open repeater software. It's free. Uh, you know, there's some neat neat features. I don't know. It looks like it hasn't been updated for a little while. There's a GitHub for it too. So there, you know, there's the source code and and whatnot. The only thing I wish it did have was the the Zello plugin. It does not have a Zello plugin. Otherwise, it has everything else. But I haven't played with it much, so I can't really speak about the other functions. But um, but it's pretty neat. If you're interested in an interface board for something like this, shoot me an email and we'll go from there. At any rate, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.